Yeah. You sure? You got your water ready? I got my water ready. I might not need water. Well, you bragging I, I like love, that? I love hot food, you know what I'm saying? He bragging like that, y'all. So, I don't know if y'all ever heard of the YouTube special called The Hot Ones, right? You yeah. know what talking about? And <clears throat> we decided that we was going to try this at home, okay? Now, <clears throat> let's see if Brother Dinker could pass this uh, test of eating the hottest things that you can eat. We got Swift Fern. It was nice right there. Garlic herb hot sauce. <laughs> we got Chipotle pepper hot sauce. We got Mexican style hot sauce. We got jalapeno pepper hot sauce. Mm -hmm. We got mango habanero hot sauce. And we got last five alarm habanero hot sauce. He got to eat all of this. <laughs> all right. So we're going to start and uh, let him eat. But the topic as we um, see in here, child, because I was over here coughing, right? And my hair is that hot. I'm not doing it. He can do it. I don't want my behind burning. The first one I'm going to try is uh, garlic herb hot sauce. You know, we're going to go from what, we, what I think is the least hot. To the hottest, so I can make it all the way through. But I think I can make it all the way. I think you're gonna make it through, family. Huh? <laughs> put y'all, put y'all answer in the comment in the comment section. Do y'all think I'm gonna make it all the way through? <clears throat> Man, I can't even make it through the regular one I just made. I just made mine with Louisiana hot sauce and some butter, <clears throat> and it's burning my throat. I didn't realize Louisiana hot sauce was so hot though. It's hot to you? Mm -hmm. I don't really taste the hot to you. Well, okay, so now, <laughs> let's try this garlic herb hot sauce. We're going to try this one first, okay? You ready? Yeah, go ahead. Let me pick up your one. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. <clears throat> now, what are we doing this for a little drink, huh? It's pretty good. Mm. It's not yeah. hot? It's not hot. Um, <clears throat> okay. Hmm. So actually, I'm gonna take a little bit more to show y'all it's not really hot. Why are you doing that? Tell me something. Mm -hmm. People <clears throat> don't realize that as humans are going <clears throat> through a transformation, everything on the planet is right. Mm -hmm. Now you know how everybody has their gods that they call on, right? Yeah. Do you think all of these gods are going through a transformation? I think so because you like that, that one in it, huh? Huh? Yeah, it's not. I, I think everything, <laughs> everything is evolving. People are evolve, evolve, evolving. Their spirit is evolving, along with the plants, the animals. Mm -hmm. Even notice with the animals, you'll see animals that normally, I say, fifteen, twenty years ago, they would be killing each other. Out in the wild, and you and you will see them together. Really? <coughs> the other day, I was watching a video mm -hmm. on TikTok, and I seen a wolf and mm -hmm. a, a wild pig walking together. It was weird. A big old wolf and a wild pig walking together. <coughs> I've seen that. Like they were friends. Like they were best friends, right? But all the species is going through a, a <coughs> transformation, right? Mm hmm. All right, y'all, I'm clearing my throat because I made my own with some Louisiana hot sauce and some butter. <clears throat> and I realized it was kind of spicy, too. Okay. So, wow. okay. You ready for the next one? Yeah. All right. Chipotle pepper hot sauce. Try that one. Yeah, that, that garlic herb hot sauce is pretty good. I don't know. Was it hot? Wasn't hot to me. <clears throat> hot wing. We have some salad. Got a salad with some cucumbers, lettuce, tomatoes, turkey, onions, red onions, and some. I love what you call them. You think croutons on it? Black crushes. I'm not so, a fan of croutons. I don't know why. Thank I just you. don't like them. <clears throat> I'm not. I'm not a really big fan of croutons, unless they got like unless they're real buttery. 
Well, he puts crackers on his thing. It's no different. I like crackers on my side. It's pretty, it tastes pretty good. All right, so. <clears throat> eat that. Eat it up. That is chipotle pepper hot sauce. Eat it up. Mm. It's, it's a little bit more. It got a little kick to it a little bit. <laughs> but it tastes kind of good. Okay. The flavoring is real good. The flavoring is good? Okay. Mm -hmm. hmm. Got a nice flavor to it. Mm -hmm. mm. Got it. Are you sure you don't want a glass of milk on the side? Well, I don't need no milk. Oh, you bragging? He's bragging like that. Oh, I don't need no milk. Mm. That water is going to make his mouth hotter. That's what's going to happen. So it tastes good? Yeah, I got it. I didn't put it on two wings. That's how good it is. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> so, not hot. Mm-hmm. While you're eating that, you know, we have a, a, what did they call it? A polar vortex? A polar vortex, yeah. Mm-hmm. Bringing that, in a winter storm. Bringing in a winter storm. Why do you think they're, that's happening? You think because they're messing with the weather? I, yeah, I think they're messing with the weather, but... This time of year when um, it's Christmas, a lot of time the closer they get to Christmas, the more they start to try to manipulate the weather. So are they trying to make it like a snowy? Yeah, I think they're really trying to make a quote unquote white Christmas. White Christmas, okay. <clears throat> you guys hit us down below and let us know if you think that they're manipulating the weather. weather. Now you got some places like Georgia, Florida, that's really seeing some weather like they've never seen before. Mm -hmm. I've been in Georgia for many years and never seen 17 or 18 degrees. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We've had snow. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't that cold. It wasn't before. that cold. Mm-hmm. What you trying next? Uh, the Mexican style. So how was that one? Which one? You want to just say chipotle pepper. The chipotle pepper. It's real good. It has a nice taste to it. I, I actually, I do like it. Real nice. It's hot? It's hotter than, it's it's hot, but it's not, it's not like make your nose run hot. Okay. So, I don't know if any of these will really uh, burn my mouth, but we're about to find out. Okay. I'm going to try this next one. The, uh, Mexican Mex style. Mexican style hot sauce. Let me shake it up, get these spices up out of here. <laughs> <laughs> think it's funny, but wait till you go to the bathroom. That's Mexican style. Mm. Tastes good? Yeah, it's got a, it's got a hint of lime in it. It's really? Real, yeah, it's kind of, it's not hot. I thought the Mexican one, the Mexican style would be hotter. Really? Why? Cause I know I grew up, you know, I grew up in Texas, Houston, Texas, and a lot of my friends were Mexican and they used to love some hot, spicy food. Mm -hmm. And all that stuff was really, really hot. So I just assumed, you know. So let's get back to the gods now. Mm -hmm. You know, the most popular um, traditional way it's Ifa, right? Well, we'll just say in America because it might be different in other places. Are you thinking? We've got people in Japan practicing Ifa. Oh, yeah, that's right. You got people in Japan, China. China, India, right? Everybody practicing Ifa. Practicing Ifa, so. I guess you're right on that one. What I want to know. What do you think? Do you think all the guys like Ogun or Sun, you know, um, Sango, um, all gods, Obatala, Sampana. Do you think it's the same people? Same uh, deity. But do you think that they're going through a transformation too? Yeah. I think they're going through, through a uh, transformation. I think, I don't know. I feel like some of them are, are the transformation because they're being called on so much. Mm -hmm. I think the, the, uh, the forces of nature are waking up. Mm hmm because these are, you got to remember, these are forces of nature. And 
these forces are also in the human body. Mm -hmm. So by us tapping into that energy, which is I feel is one of the number one reasons why they didn't want us tapping into that energy, is causing other people energies to wake up. Mm -hmm. Because once we come, once we wake up and come online, mm -hmm. everybody's going to come online. But it's going to be since I don't know. I feel like since Black people were so, I don't want to say brain dead, but um, dead spiritually, mm -hmm. because we uh, bought into the uh, Western form of religion <coughs> and spirituality mm -hmm. that, and other cultures as well as, as with. With um, and not practicing our own, mm -hmm. I think that was really some of our problems as far as you know, with police brutality, some of the discrimination and stuff. A lot of us are too busy into fighting each other instead of fighting people that are oppressing us. And I think eventually we will get back. We will get to that. Okay, this one is a jalapeno pepper hot sauce. I don't know. You can tell it might now. This this one might be high. It's kind of yellowish green. <laughs> mm -hmm. Might be a little bit hot, right? Mm. Is it hot? Mm -mm. Slow. I don't know why they call it hot sauce. He's bragging, y'all. I think. But I think when he's that five alarm habanero hot sauce, that's when he's gonna stop talking shit. Mother think for how hyper you think you're hyping this up um about the storm coming because it almost sounds like they're trying to freeze over the damn up. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And you said it'd be easy to stay in the West Coast, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well what they were showing mm -hmm. with the weather and, and the news is that um the West Coast is the only place that's not gonna be freezing like that. Mm. So, hmm. I was saying, shoot, those that got money, they can get away from that, go fly to the West Coast and enjoy some uh, <laughs> some warm weather. Yeah, suppose they go over there, and just because it's not cold, they have a goddamn earthquake. Hey, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. I don't know about that. I think the West Coast is going to be affected in one way or the other. Hmm. Well... I'm going to go ahead and go to this next one. Mango habanero hot sauce. Now, this one might be hot, but... Nah, because you got mango in there. It's not going to be hot. What I want to ask you is... What? What do you think... What? Well, no. What do you, I want you to tap in spiritually. What do you see is going to be the effect of them keep uh, manipulating the weather? If they don't stop. <coughs> My mother's going to fight back. She ain't having it. Um, she's tired of them playing with her womb. So, they keep playing and keep playing. She's gonna bring her back. That's what I see. Mm. This one is a this one. It's spicy because I guess because of the habanero. Mhm. Mm the mango too. Oh yeah, it's a little salty. It's salty. Yeah. Hmm. It's a little spicy one. Now, are these the same ones that they use on the hot one? No, these ain't the same ones. The ones they use on there got like these, the grill. Hmm. Uh, nah, the ones they use on hot wings is really hot. These ain't gonna be, I thought, actually, it was starting to kick in a little bit. <laughs> it is? But it's not that hot. But I, okay. it, got, it got a little heat to it. Alright, y'all, he got one more. That five alarm one. That one's a little bit hot. Are you trying mm -hmm. to move me to this one real quick, huh? No. Y'all, I'm not going to try that one. This one's hot. This is the five alarm habanero. Mm mm mm. All right, ah. All right, y'all. Five alarm habanero. Hot I bet the bread, huh? It just tastes like peppers. Is that burning your mouth? It's burning my mouth. <clears throat> so it's 
Or is it the hottest out of all of them? It's the hottest, but it's it's not that hot either. I'm really not. I'm not impressed. You're not impressed? Maybe we should do this again with some real hot sauce. Cause this thing, it's hot. It ain't that hot. I need to get you some pepper sauce. <clears throat> If you bite the seed, it's so hot. The milk and water ain't stopping it from burning your mouth. <clears throat> this one is a little hot because <laughs> <laughs> it's making my nose run a little bit. Uh-huh. You just use our bad talk. Mm, it ain't hot. It's not bad. You just use our bad. I'm gonna try some more though, cause it ain't. It's hot. I ain't gonna lie, it's hot. Uh-uh, you cheated. This is the five alarm. You put that one in there. Well, okay, okay. No cheating now. Now I got both of them right. Okay. Oh, the nose is running now. It's trying to. My lips yeah. starting to burn. Yeah, <clears throat> no, no, right here, right here around the mouth, right here is burning. All right now. So, what? Okay, the five alarm habanero was the hottest. The what? But the best tasting one See. was the Chipotle one. Smoky. Yeah. It's good. The Chipotle. That's because you're a Mexican, that's why. He a Mexican. He think he Mexican, y'all. Well, I don't. Mm -hmm. I, I love Mexican food though, but Yeah, see, so you're a Mexican guy. Just like you call me a Chinese, you say, Well, you love Chinese and you are a Mexican. She loves Chinese food. I ain't never seen a black person eat so much Chinese food. Hey. Maybe one of my great 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 grandmothers came from the Khoisan tribe in Africa. Because you know, all Asians came from the Khoisan tribe, which is the oldest tribe in the world in Africa. They try to say it's the. Uh, Australian? Australian. Bullshit. Oldest tribe is the Khoisan tribe. That's for no, they want to give Africa credit. Hmm? For spirit shoulders? Yeah, that's just for the shoulders. Yeah. The oldest tribe. Hmm. So, we're saying that family. That's why I like Chinese. The habanero. Every year, y'all know we do this. We do the special. We give you New Year's readings, thirty-five dollars, and we're doing the spiritual kits. <clears throat> what? With salt and the charm. salt, charm, and to smoke out your home mm -hmm. to get any disagreeable energy out. Because a lot of y'all need it. Don't say you don't, because you do. It's gonna come with a spiritual bath. It's gonna come with a spiritual bath for your family. Everybody can bathe with the salt. Just to bring the new year in with positiveness, peace, harmony in your home. Mm -hmm. Everybody really should be smoking out their homes at least three times to four times a week. Especially if you do spiritual work. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't. Because mm -hmm. you got people running out your house, the kids are going to school. Sometimes demons could get attached to them. All kinds of stuff is going on. I just said that because a lot of people do spiritual work don't even... Um, clean, out smoke out their house or clean, uh, cleanse themselves uh, enough. Mm -hmm. Well, you should. Especially, okay, if you're doing spiritual work, you should be taking a spiritual bath at least six days a week. And there's many different ones you can take. You should be smoking out your house every day. Mm -hmm. Just like in ancient in Egypt, they would get up, they would burn the, burn the morning and burn the frankincense at night. Every day. African tradition uh, from the um, uh, the Igbo, uh, Igbo have it. Some Igbo. people say, mm -hmm. I say Igbo, she said Igbo. it's Igbo. Mm -hmm. But either way, they believe in Chi, and this is an ancient system that was taught. <laughs> I didn't even know Africans, you know, believed in Chi until I started mm -hmm. and getting into the African traditions. And I was like, wow, everything you think is in another 
culture only, you'll find out it's in African culture as well. That's why I believe a lot of the Japanese people are, um, um, you know, connected to the Igbo tribe in Africa. Got to think about it. Even and the they, names sound the same. The names and the, the language. names and the, the language sounds speak, the same. It sounds the same, yeah. So, pretty much, um, I think there's a direct connection with them. Just like if you go back and look at some of them statues from ancient Egypt, and I think I showed in a video, they got Asian eyes. So, you know, we all know that the first. First, maybe they were co maybe they Asian had, was African. Maybe they had the the coins and. Um, well, I think it was the coinsin because yeah, the coinsin got them eyes. Yeah. I said again. I said it before and I said it again. The Sphinx, the name being Haramaket, which is a woman, is the overseer of the earth. People are not paying attention to that. She's watching the whole earth. And she got a lot of secrets under her. Mm. So when we talk about the Sphinx, we look at the Sphinx. People need to know she's the overseer of this planet. So you'll find out from I ask you this. What? With her being the overseer of this planet, what is her duty? Besides like does she issue our punishment? Does she report? What what is it, what is it? That she does. What is it that she do? She overlooks humanity. So if things start to get out of whack with the earth, what happens? That's a secret. I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Let them get too out of order over here on this planet. Think they're gonna be doing shit? They're gonna be just doing. They'll see. All right. Don't forget, we're doing thirty-five New Year's readings for $35. love, health, finances. Thirty-five dollar. New Year's reading for love, health, finances, and we're doing $60, $60 spiritual packages, soap for the whole house, and the move charm. obstacles open the way, charm for one person though, charm, and smoke out to get your house cleaned out, okay? So hit us up in box, and we'll see you soon. Blessings, family. Peace.